Hello, my name is Kathy Wynn, and I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Today, I will be showing you how to use Big Fix to edit the Windows Registry. There is a wizard within the Big Fix console named Windows Registry Wizard, and it basically walks you through specifying all the appropriate parameters and then creates a task for you to push out your registry changes to your endpoints. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Big Fix console. Now you'll see a notepad um, in front of the console. Before jumping into the console to navigate to the wizard, uh, the use case or what I'm trying to demonstrate today is basically turning off UAC or user access control. So to turn this off, I would have to navigate to this particular registry key and the value um, enable limited user account needs to be set to zero um, for it to be disabled. It's currently enabled. Um, so if I jump into the registry, I'm already navigated there. Um, as you can see on the lower left hand pane, you'll see enable LUA here and it's set to one. So it's basically enabled and this is what I would like for Big Fix to set um, to zero, basically disabling it. So let's go ahead and cancel out of all of this and minimize it. And now let's go ahead and jump into the console and navigate um, to the wizard. So on the lower left hand pane, you can see that I am in the all content domain. The top left pane, um, I can see wizards that I can um, maximize there. And under best support where this wizard is part of, it's basically part of the best support um, site, you'll see the Windows Registry Wizard. Not a big deal if you do not know which site it's a part of. Um, you can still navigate to it if you go under all wizards, um, which will kind of dis will display all of the wizards uh, within um, Big Fix for you. And at the bottom, you should see the Windows Registry Wizard. So now this wizard is up in the right pane here. Um, by default, you'll see that this radio button is selected, specify registry value, which is basically what we're gonna be using uh, on today's demonstration. Um, you do have the option to also um, choose if, to import an existing reg file. Um, basically, you can export it um, from your registry and you can uh, use this radio button to import um, the file into Big Fix uh, and push that out to your endpoints. You also have a checkbox down here to run the task as the current login user. Um, so basically, it's really for um, the HKEY current user hive. Um, so you do have the option to check this box. We'll leave everything here in default and then click next. Now on this screen, you will see um, all of the operating systems that you would like this particular um, task to be applicable to. Um, by default, almost all of the operating systems, the current operate, the current operating systems are um, checked. Um, I'm going to leave that alone. You have the option to just target 32-bit and 64-bit machines. Um, I'm going to leave that alone to all machines. And you also have a checkbox down here to um, use the 32-bit registry on 64-bit machines. And that basically just means um, you can pinpoint um, the WAL 64 32-bit folder or registry key that's in the registry. So basically, you can pinpoint this um, registry key. I'm gonna leave this all alone and I'm gonna click next. Now, um, the options I have at the top, I can insert a new key value, edit an existing one, or delete a key value. Um, for this particular use case, we're gonna be edit, editing it since it's already there. So now it's gonna ask me to put in the key, um, the path name. And if you look right here, you also um, cannot abbreviate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my notepad and copy 
this path and paste it there. And I'm also going to copy the value, the value name. It's a D word, so I'm going to check that. And then what I would like the value to be is zero to disable it. I can also check this box down here um, to make it a one-time action, um, but I would like to go ahead and use this to create a task um, so that I can reuse it over and over again. So that's basically it. I click on finish and my task is created. I can change the, the default name that it put up there. Um, so basically I'm gonna change it to registry turn off UAC. And in the description tab, I can also edit that and give it a little bit more details. Um, so I'm gonna pretty much edit that versus um, deleting everything out and typing in um, some new verbiage. I'm gonna add some additional here. So I'm going to say this task will edit the Windows registry and turn off UAC. I'll leave it in the current, the master action site. Um, and when I click on actions, uh, you can see that it already created the action script uh, to run to set this key, uh, this value to D word um, zero to disable that. And on the relevance tab, it also built out the relevance for you. So basically, it will find any of the applicable operating systems that you checked and then um, basically look at this particular value and make sure that it is not zero. So it'll only be applicable to the ones that are not disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I have a task that I can use um, to take action on. So I'm going to go ahead and take action. And uh, since I'm not waiting on um, the applicable computers to show up, I'm going to go ahead and just enter um, my, dev my device name, um, basically the endpoint that we're currently on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And I'm going to leave everything default and hit OK. And I'm going to let this run and pause the video and come back once this completes. All right. Now you can see in my console that this um, action has completed. And if I look in the registry, it is now disabled and set to zero. So that concludes the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this was helpful to you. And please do not hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to be notified when there's updates, please subscribe to the Big Fix TA YouTube channel. The link is below.